Greetings, adventurers. Today's video is going to be a little different than I normally do, because honestly, <laughs> I'm exhausted. Um, working, working the fair on the weekends is a lot more physically taxing than I thought it would be. I'm making it sound like it isn't fun. It's, it's of course fun, but it, but it is tiring. Um, and so my, my writing, shoot, and editing schedule has essentially gone from an entire week down to about three days. And I thought I would take this opportunity while I'm resting and talk directly to you um, about the channel, because I haven't really done that yet. Yeah, I hope you enjoy this little candle side chat. Uh, and if this isn't your thing, I totally understand. Maybe share it with someone who you think might be interested in the channel, but I do hope you stay tuned. I thought I would take uh, the opportunity today to actually uh, share with you some excerpts from my own personal journal, very specifically like where it is that I started on the journey that I'm on. So way back um, in 2019, I was still in college and I was and I was down in, in, in DC in the city and I just it, like by April, I just started to be really, really done with with what I was doing. And, and not that I wasn't enjoying what I was doing and not that I wasn't grateful to be there, but I, I'm, I'm sure you understand. You get, you, you get, you get tired of it. You sort of realize you're having to focus so much on the work aspect of having to do, you know, the job that you're not able to really focus on anything else that interests you. And, and I mean, you know, maybe that means I'm just not cut out for it, but, but theater is not the only thing that interests me. And then after I graduated, I was working at a hardware store. People there were great. It just didn't allow me time to do anything else, especially if I was doing a show at the same time. It was just, I, like I didn't have a moment to just sit by myself. So um, it, it really became clear to me that I needed a lifestyle change. I said, you know, I, I'm tired, I'm undernourished or whatever, but I, I want to go on an adventure. Um, and it was looking back on this as I was thinking about what to say to you guys that made me think I should encourage you guys to go on your adventures because that's, that's where I started. I write, I want to prepare my uh, adventurer's equipment. I want to travel again. This, this was my nostalgia for having studied abroad in London. We uh, went around, I wore my cloak everywhere I went, I, I climbed Arthur's seat with a bunch of friends of mine, that's in Scotland, I think. Just an all-around fun time, and I and like I really enjoyed studying theater there. I was with the London Dramatic Academy, but really the most interesting thing there for me was my off days when I could go learn about history and just visit the castles. And that sounds so bad because of course I did want to learn Shakespeare, like that is why I was there and I totally enjoyed that too. But I mean, I, man, I really looked forward to those those independent field trips I went on. We went to go um, look at the Game of Thrones filming set up in Belfast. So really, really awesome time. But so I was nostalgic for that. I want to travel again with a sword at my side, <laughs> a rucksack on my back, a song in my heart and a spring in my step. I want to see beautiful mountains and rivers and springs and fields. And it sounds, it sounds kind of cringe now that I'm <laughs> reading it back, but it is what I feel. And I said I should reach out to, to Shad at Shadiversity um, to see if he'd make a video about proper, useful, adventuring gear, like a full kit. And I didn't, I didn't end up reaching out to him, actually, because I think I just forgot that I wrote that. But that very same day, I wrote my own adventuring uh, gear kit so that I had something tangible to, to look at and a blueprint with which I might actually, you know, go, go do something, whether it's hikes or, or camping or whatever. But all this is to say that it was around this time in 2019 that I wanted to stop watching other people do things or reading about other people, whether they're real or not, do things that I personally wanted to do. I wanted to go on an adventure. And, and you know, I took the steps that were necessary to do that, and I've been accumulating items since long before then. Um, 
but it was it was right at the same time that I made the choice to buy my first uh, sword, which is a, a dark sword armory, knight's bastard sword. Might do a review on that at some point. Um, if, if you guys would be interested in that, go ahead and drop a comment. But so in, in my search for whatever it was, I don't, I, like I didn't have a word to define it, and then I realized that it, it was it was reenactment, but not just any reenactment, because while I like learning about medieval history, um, I didn't have a specific time period in mind that I was going to try to reenact. But by happenstance, while I was searching around one day, I happened upon the Middle Earth Rangers Handbook. And if I can find a link to that, I will go ahead and drop it in the description box below. Um, and, and it was there that I realized that there was a whole community of people that do and have done for years exactly what it was that I was trying to do, which was Lord of the Rings reenactment. Um, if you're hearing about that for the first time, uh, look it up and get involved because the more the merrier, honestly. Um, and <laughs> it was so gratifying to realize that not only were there other people doing this really odd thing that I wanted to try to do, but there were people with way more experience than me um, with this absolute wealth of knowledge to pull from. I wanted to start rather than wait to be proficient or prepared or whatever, and I, I just wanted to go out and do it. So I, you know, I, I got stuff together, and I, uh, you know, I had my wool tunic custom made, and I just went out on hikes. And then, you know, as all of the stuff last year happened, I, I essentially decided that it wasn't as much as I enjoy acting, and as much as I enjoy, you know, certain musicals. I'm not one of those musical theater people that's like. You know, knows every musical and wants to be in every musical. Like, there's a finite number of shows that I want to be in, and other than that, like, I honestly couldn't care less. Um, <laughs> that sounds so bad, um, but, you know, it's true, honestly. And I'm tired pretending that it's not, no. But I essentially decided that it wasn't worth it for me to... Maybe this is too heavy. Maybe this is, no one cares. I don't know, I don't know if anyone's gonna care. But I essentially decided it was in my own best interest to take charge of my own future and make something of my own that I was really passionate about and, and really wanted to do. And YouTube seemed like it's an excellent way to do that, to share what it is that I'm passionate about and what it is that I just happen to be doing already um, with other people and then hope that that becomes something um, that is at the very least useful or entertaining to others but maybe potentially something that is able to support me when i'm not acting i mean if if i'm acting at all because because things are things are very volatile at the moment um and you're not guaranteed you're not guaranteed any roles um but, but I can at least play this one. Like, and I, I can at least do this rather than spending the best of my years hoping that someone else will give me a chance and then, you know, maybe fire me, you know, if I have the wrong opinion about something. Acting is hard because, I mean, you go to a job interview, right? And you're up against a whole bunch of people, but then, like, you get the job and all you have to do to not be fired is essentially like <laughs> be good but with acting it doesn't matter the show ends which means you essentially are just like we talked we talked about this in school like auditioning is our job and if we get to be in a show like that's the bonus but unfortunately auditioning doesn't pay you anything um and having a side job like as my main job essentially it, it just seems so bizarre like like what even is that it's like yeah let me let me go thousand let me go tens of thousands of dollars into debt so that I can then pay off that debt, not with what I learned how to do. It doesn't make any sense to me, and I'm and I'm <laughs> I don't know I don't know why I did it. Ha! Huh, too real, too real, too real. You're not even guaranteed anything on YouTube, but this is at least something that I can do, like without anyone else's permission. I'll talk about the name real quickly because the name is interesting. I was sitting studying for an exam, just like at my dining room table, with like all of these modern things on my laptop, and I was doing so like in my Game of Thrones like cloak, like with the fur and everything. And I was just sitting like in blue jeans and everything. I was just like sitting there with the cloak on because I was cold. And my friend comes in and he's literally like, Kramer, you are, you're like a living, walking anachronism. 
And you know, at the time I was just like, that's the best compliment that I think I've ever received. So when I was thinking up names for the YouTube channel, there were a couple other ones that I had in mind, but that's the one I decided on. And then what I've come to realize is it's actually, it's actually perfect because I'm not bound by any particular time period. I'm, I would like to learn about all bunches of different time periods. And I'd like to reenact and explore things from different time periods. So I'm not living history, but I am living anachronism. And I am a living anachronism. Because I'm not trying to live in a castle, like without AC or, or heating or refrigerator. I would like to live in a place that looks like a castle that has electricity, you know? But it isn't quite enough for me to be able to like go to an event once a month or go on a hike a couple times a month and then an event once a month or something and then just go back to modernity. Like it isn't enough. I'm always wanting more. And maybe, maybe I'll achieve, maybe I'll achieve what it is that I'm looking for, which is to be in a constant state of, of being immersed. Um, and maybe I'll decide that I hate that and that would be very depressing, but I don't think that will be the case. And this wasn't intended to be everything about me because this obviously isn't everything about me. There's other things that I do. Um, but I don't, I, I, I genuinely don't know like if people, if people care about that yet. I mean, we're still a very, you know, small group of people and I want to help, you know, broaden, you know, the conversation and, and get people that are just viewers involved with doing the thing that theoretically would make them happy. But you know, that doesn't inherently mean that you guys care about my life. But if you do, um, maybe I'll do like a live question and answer or something or a filmed question and answer. Just, it just depends on how technology works out for me. Maybe I'll do that for the 1000 subscriber video, which, which is ceremonial, ceremonial, even, even though it's, you know, it's small, it's small, but it's us, you know, it's small, but it's big, it's big for this channel. So it deserves, it deserves a video. And if trends continue, we will be there probably around August. Um, we're averaging about 100 new subs a week. So, uh, thank you guys. That's, that's really epic. Welcome to the new people. Yeah. All, all, all that essentially to say that. Uh, I have stuff planned. Um, I know what direction currently I, I want to take the content in. Stuff like best cloak design for a medieval adventure. I think that's going to be a really big one. I, I hope that's one that lots of people are interested in because I think it's really cool and, and not often talked about because like, cloak, a cloak is a cloak, right? Wrong. And that's why you need to watch the video. So that that's coming eventually. I'm doing a lot of research on it because I want to, you know, give all the cloak types their due so that no one can accuse me of biasing my own. But of course I'm biasing my own because it's the one I have the most experience with. It's the one that I like. So that's why I'm making the video in the first place. But, and that should also go without saying too, for any of my stuff, I do not claim to be an expert. I'm an expert on my own opinion, but my opinions are my own. Um, if something works for you and you like it, take it and use it and do so in good faith. <laughs> Go forth and conquer. And if it doesn't work for you, um, you know, drop a comment so that other people are exposed to different viewpoints. But it, you know, if, if it just straight up doesn't work and you think it's stupid, just like, just don't, just don't do it. I don't make videos um, about things that I don't have experience with. So if I'm talking about fighting, like I might not be as experienced as some other people, but I, I have a I have a fair amount of experience, um, like many years worth of experience with multiple styles of fighting. I tend, I tend to ramble with lots of examples. It's just sort of my style. I, I, I hope that you guys enjoy it. Like, I mean, to some degree I need to censor like how long the videos go, but you know, to another degree, it's just how I talk. Um, <laughs> I tend to give a lot of allegories. I tend to give like a, a lot of examples. I tend to repeat myself a lot which is exactly what I just did in saying that I repeat myself a lot. You see what I mean? So I know this was a little rambling and I know it's different from the sort of content that I've set you up to expect from this channel, but I hope that it was somehow still relevant to you. And you know, for those of you who stayed to watch the whole thing, who knows how long this thing was by the time, you know, I'm going to be done editing it and taking out you know, the pauses and the fluff and the stuff that was like, too serious. Um, but for those of you who stayed to the end to just <laughs> listen to me ramble about my life circumstances and, 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 and what it is that we're doing here in, in this, in, within the sword community as a whole, and then on this channel independently of that, uh, thank you. Thank you for staying. And, um, you know, that's it. That's it for this week. And I'll see you guys next time. 
very good luck on your adventures.